We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. We're diving back into Rise Eterna. Let's get this going. All right. Heroes, we have a new heroine to join us. Rose. And she is Lua's oldest sister. She is very caring toward those she loves. And because of this, Rose assumed the role of big sister to the other four and protected them during their time together. Cool. How does she feel about murdering people? Because, you know, that kind of happened a lot. Sort of. Maybe. All right. So, things that we know. Not a lot. Uh, we have dorkies. We have... I wish we could rearrange this stuff a little bit. It's okay. Static shock, harpoon, poison bombs, withdrawal potion, any other elixirs? A strength elixir. Okay, good to know. All right, so we're going to throw the elixirs on the folks we think we should throw them on. We'll see how that plays. Uh, what do we know about the gal, the new gal, Rose? Attack range of 1. Her attack is 44 versus Nathiel's much higher. Hers isn't that much higher. I mean, it's it's 9 more than hers. Uh, he's got actually a pretty decent attack too. And then she's got a little baby attack. And I don't know why she... Why does she have a baby attack? She's got no gems. Why is her health and her attack higher? Oh, oh, from her skill tree stuff. Okay, I don't know. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, um, well, crap. Alright, so what, what are we working with here? Regular, perfect, regular, flawed, and good. Let's get rid of this one. And, uh, you know, there are uses for... So, just because I'm removing the flawed ones does not mean there's no uses for the flawed. Say you want your character to be able to walk in and be tanky like we have Nathiel going right now. Uh, you know, maybe he's not going to be able to get all the attacks, but you can send him in to slowly wear down like a big group of people, swoop him with your stronger folks at the end and finish him off while he's basically untouchable. So maybe you, you lower his attack, maybe you lower his health, but you increase his defense to the point where, again, he's untouchable. So that might be viable. Maybe you're looking to be more dodgy and or hit a little bit better. You already hit hard enough, but you can't quite, you don't hit as, like your hit chance is too low, right? So you get more agility while lowering the attack a little bit. You know, it's kind of a balancing act. So, like, the flawed gems have their place. It's just kind of hard to see that because you can't have two flawed gems that do, like, opposing things. Because if you do, well, you're going to end up in a little bit of trouble, so to speak. Because, essentially, you'll end up with minus one to both of those stats. So, like, like a attack... Plus one minus two to agility, or an, an agility plus one minus two to attack. If you put both of those on, you end up with a minus one of both. So you really have to be specific with what you're going to do if you use the flawed ones, or do stupid things like me, and just throw all the flawed ones, flight flight ones, all the flawed ones, all the flawed ones out, and just roll out with other things. All right, so I want this one on so the 100% needs to happen. So what are we going to get rid of on his side? I say we get rid of maybe the two defense. But we could share the attack. How much attack do we get with this? Seven attack. All right, we're going to get rid of the attack one for now. And we're going to give him this one. It'll give him more agility. He should be able to hit things every time. Which I think he is like borderline being able to do. Uh, he should be able to crit more often. And maybe be a bit more dodgy. Maybe we can roll out with two dodgy boys. And then have uh, you know higher defense on some of the others. Eh, maybe? Uh, I'm not sure. But that's my, my current plan. Alright, so so these there. I should probably do some things to help Nathiel a little bit because I feel bad for the poor guy. Minus five health. Or sorry, plus five health, minus one defense. Okay, I'm going to put that there. 
14 health. I'm to put this away as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull into him the plus two defense and the plus two attack. So his defense is still going to be pretty high at, what is that, 33? Sorry, 43? 43, right? Yeah. 43. And what, does that put him above everybody else? By a lot, yes. Okay. Uh, I want to take a look at Sothi again. So this might take us a few seconds or minutes here uh, to kind of suss out what we're doing. I don't necessarily mind him losing defense a little bit if he's dodgy enough, but... Problem is, I don't think he's dodgy enough yet. How does he stack up against Lua? 26 versus... Was that... Uh, 34? So he's definitely not on her levels of dodging. But if we can get him to tank up, I feel like that might work. To his advantage. But we did just take away a lot of his health, right? So... Hmm... Or, no, what, 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 you took away his defense. Hmm. I'm, I'm just trying to make it work the best. Alright, I think we're going to go with this. A little bit more HP. He doesn't have to rely on defense as much. We don't know much about her. She's got decent HP. She's got more defense. I'm probably going to use Rose more in a combat heavy role. Because her attack range is also a little bit... She might be a bit tankier than some of the others. And then we'll put Sarah over here with a little bit of attack. And a little bit of health, lowering her defense slightly. I mean, it's, it's about the best thing we can do right now. Oh, we found some iron ore and stuff. We can actually get some chest keys made. Alright. Okay, we have seven healing potions total. Oh, wait, we can make movement elixirs? What, what do we need for that? Oh. Oh, that's... Oh, my. Okay. Well. Uh, I'm gonna try not to use, make any more healing potions. I feel like I've done messed up there. Uh, water, super important at this point. Because we can get some stat ups like that. You know, like I said, it's a different system for the combat and everything else, but it's not bad. Like, it's it's actually quite good. Alright, so we have Sarah. She needs a little bit more love. Oops. A little bit more love in her attacking uh, patterns here. And she'll get it. So the is ready to do this. So the attacks twice per fight if countered. Okay, oh, absolutely. Don't Doesn't need to be next to anyone anymore. So he could be the first one to go forward and attack, and then others can follow. And with his agility high enough, that means he will hit, and he might crit frequently as well. Movement range or attack range. Oh, oh my god, I love this character so much. Okay, very nice. Alright, uh, over here. Okay, counterattacking. So now we're at a 50% chance. Okay, I can get behind that. Oh, I like this. 3% chance of making a second attack, follow-up attack. Ooh, it's so exciting. Good times. All right, Nathiel. Uh, healed, I like that. And she's got six points. All right, so absolutely going to get one point into this. Minimum. You know, hold on. I want to look at... Sarah got that max. Okay, so it's a 12% when oh, it's under 50. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that it really did what I thought it was going to. All right, support bonuses are increased. HP or attack. I'm still going to go attack for now. And that's all she's got. Okay, so she's behind quite a bit. But that's, no, that's okay. It's okay. I like it. All right, so we're mostly done. We do need to play with the inventory, though. Inventory is a real problem right now. Oh, dear. Uh, 
Okay, let's go over to you. I'm gonna get rid of the paralysis bomb. I'm not gonna use it probably, which sucks. I know I should be using these things more. Elixir for her. Do I want her to have a strength elixir? I think I'm gonna put that on Lua. Strength potion, and then the agility, I know who I need to put that on. It is tempting to keep it on Sothi and just make him more powerful, but I don't think I'm gonna do it yet. I'll keep the minor health potions for now. I'll bring a pickaxe into the into the mix. Lua, the paralytic sounds useful. Movement elixir, I'm gonna take off of you. Barbed blade, I'll get rid of the explosive bomb. Oops, let's go back to you, stop it. To you, do that. So are all the elixirs at the bottom? Yeah, they are, all right. So that, that's every one of them, right? Yeah, you know what? We're gonna we're just gonna switch to potions only. So I'll do it quicker. All right. Um. Take the strength potions out. Gonna keep the door key. I'm gonna go down here, and we're gonna get you the agility, because you need to be able to actually hit people. So Rose is a little light on her ability to move, and so is Sarah. I think Sarah's gonna get the movement elixir. Okay, I think everything is done the way I want it to be done, the best I can. Uh, since we have you doing what you're doing, why don't we give you the hemostatic, and why don't we put the door keys all on her? Only one person needs to have them, because they stack, right? So that'll open us up for a little bit of extra chicanery here. Alright, that seems fine. I have a harpoon, and then... Okay, that looks like that's everything. Alright. Whew. Let's get back into Hengwem and murder the village again. Because it felt so not wrong last time. <coughs> mm. Defeat all enemies. Can they not be villagers this time? No. Ah, oh, but we have her with us. Okay. Nothing there. Chesky? Nope. Chesky? Chesky. And then all the way up here, Chesky? Chesky. Alright. So we have two Cheskies. There's no more places to go and harvest from. Which I'm not a fan of. I wouldn't mind having... And I, and I get it. I understand why that's a thing. But I wouldn't mind having like a few spots that maybe you can get water or something. But again, I, I totally get it. Because you can just farm up and keep getting stuff that boosts your stats and things like that. So my question is, I know there's been one or two places that we finished the map without finishing all of the harvest points. So I'm curious as to whether or not those harvest points are still there, or if you only get one shot at it. Alright, let's see uh, exactly how hard Rose hits in a second. Let's, uh, let's move you into position right here. Oh yeah, she definitely does more damage this time around. Ooh, boy. We have, uh, we have upped our, our game. Oh, I, I completely did that stupidly. It's, it's fine. Oh, she does, she doth not hit very hard. Well, that's, it's a tad awkward. That's ah, fine. Yikes. All right. All right, Nathiel's gonna head up and, you know, instead of attacking, which I should absolutely do, I'll use the agility elixir, because why not? And then, did Lua get anything? I don't think I, oh, I did, I gave her strength elixir, that's right. 
I should have moved slightly with her before I did that. It's fine. Aw, that was adorable. I wouldn't worry too much, for we are truly incredibly powerful. The fact that we can straight up merc people in their homes feels super wrong, but is also very, very good for us. So it makes things a lot easier. We still only do 39 damage with her. It just feels underwhelming. Did I use all my gems? I think I did, right? I think I gave everybody gems. Like, all of the gems. Alright. Well, we be on our way. Let's see if they want to come out and play or if they're just going to stand... Oh yeah, that's right, the trap is in front of it. Well, that's awkward. It's a tad awk. Super dead, and then the other guy will be able to do whatever he wants to do. When he wants to do it, we'll wait. Can we counterattack, you think? Ow, that hurt. Oh boy, here comes the old guy. He's a waddling on through. Alright, he's dead. Alright, let's go ahead and say good day to you, sir. See, that's how you attack someone. Ooh, he actually crit. That's a rare and beautiful thing. Bye! Alright. I don't know that she can... Oh, she could have moved there. Dang. Alright, we might take a couple hits here. We might miss. Ah, we did. Look at that. Alright. So, let's go loot the chests. Open, explosive bomb. Open, health potion. Very nice. Let's go ahead and completely annihilate you. Bye, old guy. Um, let's give you a chance at some attack here. Still not enough. 38% or 19% chance to crit. Did not do it. Going to move here and see if we can't keep aggro. Sarah's looking much stronger than Rose. Okay, got the hit that time. Well done. Okay, still bleeding. Whatever, it happens. Uh, open. Poison bomb and a haste potion. There's definitely a trap in there. Oh, that's Lua. Let's get Lua to go this way. And we'll just continue to merc people from at sad, I suppose. If they want to come over, they are more than welcome to do so. We'll keep trying. Yeah, I said we can keep trying for that critical hit. Probably not going to happen, though. All right, let's open this up. Actually, I want the other one. I want the other one. I don't want this one. And... Hyah! Nope. And we'll take you out. Sarah just like... Come on, girl. You got to do better, Rose. You can do this. Get your practice on these helpless villagers that magically repopulated. And we got this. All right, let's, uh, I don't know, hustle somewhere, I mean, at this point, right? It was like, whee! Should be out of range. T 
attack. Goodbye, sir. Probably gonna crit you again. 84% crit rate on these guys. I'm not looking good for them, you know? <sighs> Alright. Handled. That one's open for looting. I know there's a trap, though. Ugh. We'll come back for it. Just gonna continue to get chipped away at here. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody. Except for the farmers of this village, apparently. All right. Old man, no attacking for you, my friend. I am sorry about your luck. Okay, down you go. Um, sure. Old lady's super mad. Yeah, now she's super not around anymore. To be mad or otherwise. Onward, onward, onward. Come, villagers, throw your rocks. Let's see what you can do. Pitchforks, yes. And meat cleavers or scythes. Sickles? I guess it's a sickle more than a scythe. Oh, they don't have the locked door this time. Actually, none of the doors were locked. Yeah, I thought you might be outside my, my reach. Alright, I'm going to take care of the man. Village man is done. Got to take care of you. Going to hang out up here. Oh, I don't want the old man to come over here. I'm just going to smack this guy. Goodbye, sir. 100 crit. I think that's our biggest crit. So, well, single hit crit, right? Lua definitely does more damage than 100. She attacks, what, four or five times at 20 each? seem upset with us. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Alright, let's get rid of you. Good day, ma'am. Put down that rolling pin. It just feels worse when they have, like, not real weapons, even. Ugh. Oh. I suppose it would be worse if I had some sort of sick satisfaction murdering all the villagers. Now, had they done something to upset me? Okay, that's a little bit different. Because I'm down to murder some, some fools that make me upset. But, you know, if they didn't do anything to me, I don't feel so good. Alright. Oh, okay, not what I was expecting. Oh, they're just going to come out and do nothing to me. Cool. You will not pass. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Huh, she didn't even throw at me. That's weird. All right, well, let's get rid of these two if our double attack works. I know sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. Definitely worked this time. My God, we are just monstrous. All right, goodbye. Lua, if you'd be so kind as to remove the, uh, the folk. Is this a single grab here? It is. Okay, so you're actually going to take care of him last, I think. I think that's how we're going to go about this. Rather get hit by a rock than a meat cleaver. Just saying. Oh, for Lua. Interesting. Bold choice. Wrong choice, but bold wrong choice. Yoink. Let's come straight on over here and just hang out. 
Lua says, good day, sir. Now we're going to send Lua down to the bottom to get the, the trapped area. Uh, I should probably go over here and clear this out to make sure nothing bad happens to whomstever we're sending in. Actually, no, I'll send her to do it. Alright, so first things first. It's gonna get you into position. Gonna get you into position. There's not really much to do with you, girl, so unfortunately, Rose, you just get to chill. And then Lua. I guess you're gonna come over here to deal with this guy eventually. And we'll end the turn. Very good. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and start marking fools. Foomp, down he goes. Trap, got it. Okay, that actually hurt way more than it looked like it should have. I know I'm not going to be able to actually do anything here, but we're going to step on it. Got our double bleed on. Wait. And, I mean, I, I suppose I could attack if I wanted. Nah, let's just go get our, our treasure loot. There's no point in attacking. Uh, open. Greater health potion and a remedy was found. Interesting. Rose should theoretically take the brunt. That was an interesting and questionable choice. Oh! Oh! We can range to counterattack. I like it. Do it again. Aw. Uh, just straight up murked in our face, huh? Alright. Treasure loot. Open. The perfect ruby of attack. Run like the wind, Binky! I'm actually really glad that they didn't do that. Yeah, I know, the poison's coming. I, I, I'm well aware. Yeah, and you're just gonna wait there. I'm Rose, don't hurt me. You raised me, remember? Or helped raise me, or something... I don't, I don't know, something, something dark side, something, something complete. Oh, she dodged. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh-huh. I, I didn't I didn't mean to wait. I wanted to move her. Uh Dumb moves on my part. Wow. So see what ha happened was uh, since if you select them like right there, if you move over them, nothing happens. But if you select them with the R or the L, it automatically puts them into move mode. So I clicked the button and I went to go move and it just did not do what I wanted it to do because I was already in move mode. It's it's fine. All right, end the turn. Should be the last turn of this. Oh, there we go. Finally get hit. I finally took Rose down a peg. All right. And open a barbed blade defense elixir. Ooh, elixir. I like that. Okay. So, it looks like everything is set up basically for us to get our sweet, sweet victory. And here it comes. And that is pretty much all she wrote, guys and gals. We'll dive in. We'll do all the inventory and other stuff here real quick. And then we will see what is next on our agenda. We're going to be heading. To the, to the left toward our next goal next time around, but you know. Uh, let's do potions. Okay. Don't want the explosive, don't want the poison right now. 
Haste isn't terrible, if I recall correctly. Greater healing potion isn't necessarily a bad thing either. And I know the remedy is pretty important, but... She's got two movement elixirs, and I didn't use either one. Huh, well. Sometimes. I'm actually going to split that up. And we'll check here in a minute where I'm going to put the other one. Uh, I kind of want to put it on him. Defense elixir. Okay. I know who I want to put that on. You, I, I sort of want to put it on Nathiel. I do, but... I kind of want to have two frontliners, if possible. So... I'm going to put them both on her. She needs a little bit more movement, and she needs to start upping her defense. Whether that's all going to work out or not remains to be seen. We have an attack and an agility, the perfect ruby of attack. That does sound really good to me. Um, which means we're going to then flip on over to... So the six attack, and this is five attack, but we gain one more or six more agility. Uh, I want everybody to actually be able to swing. Six agility is a lot. So seven attack, five agility. What if we switch this one and this one? It's just a little bit worse for Sothi, but I think he's in a good spot. He attacks twice now as well. And what if we go to Nathiel and we give him this one. And then we go not to Rose, because again, we're trying to get her defense up. I want to check. She's okay. She's got good items. Uh, what if we go to Sarah, and she's kind of got stuff that's eh? What if we give her something else with a little bit more attack, lowering her defense more? It's not ideal, but for now it'll give her a little bit of an extra boost to hopefully get her to be able to do the things that we want her to do. No crafting was uh, founded there. All right, what is this one going to do? Sacrifice. Add the sacrifice option. Take HP from Sara to heal target ally. Heals, you, heals until either target is fully healed or reaches 1 HP. Oh. Okay, that's interesting, and it's ironic because her generic skill is fantastic to work with that. Character's HP drops below 50%. The attack is raised. Defense is raised. The agility is raised. Dodge chance. Okay. I like that, actually. That's going to be useful if I can use it correctly, and I think I should be able to. Uh, as much as I want movement range right now, I think I'm going to go with higher actual range. And then I'm going to get that. So for right now, I'm just going to increase attack range until we max it out. It's only three points versus four, and then we're going to go for some sort of like final whatever, and then we're going to go back for the hero skills to get more movement, I think. I think that's the right call. Could be wrong. It feels good, though. It feels good to be able to go that route. All right, Nathiel's going to continue his adventures through this one. And finally, you. Getting a little bit of this. What's this going to do? Life Sucker. Absorb 10% of the damages caused and restore HP. Oh, my God. I love these characters. They're so good. Okay, well, we're on the right path, ladies and gentlefolk. In our next episode, we're going to be diving on into this one, and we're going to see what goes down. Oh, I didn't actually mean to start that, but apparently I did. I just wanted to stop on it and then, like, trigger it next time. But let's see what's here. We'll just basically save, and, and we'll go from there. What's our plan here? What do you mean? The south is overrun with the Thracian soldiers. Your point being... Let's say the stars align and we don't run into any soldiers before we get to Port Profundus. What happens when we get into the village that's bound to be teeming with them? That shouldn't be an issue. Why not? Because Port Profundus is a safe haven. No way Sivan would leave any of the sisters in a village full of Empire sympathizers. What are you talking about? 
we faced resistance in every village. The resistance is for your protection, Lua, for the protection of all the sisters. I don't understand. I'm sorry, but it's not my place to explain it to you. Let's just finish collecting your sisters. All of this will make sense when we get back to Sivan. If you say so. Lua, get down! What was that about Port Profundus being a safe haven? I'm not the one who jinxed us. Ugh, we don't have time for this. Let's go. Lua, wait. Reach the map exit. I thought it said turn limit there for a second. Oh, I hate, I hate, I hate that. That, I think, is my least favorite thing in any game ever is turn limits. Don't do that. If you guys are going to make a tactical turn-based strategy games, please, or game, please do not add turn limits to it. Uh, if you want to have that as like an elitist mode, by all means, that's totally fine. Go ahead and do so. But do not make it a primary thing. To me, that, that just sucks the fun and enjoyment out of it. You can't be as tactically sound. You have to push and rush. And sure, maybe that's more tactically sound than taking your time and trying to set everything up perfectly. But to me, it, it just it saps the fun from it. Anyway, guys and gals, that's not the case here. I didn't see turn limit. I just I fear that always. And I could have sworn I just glanced at it. I'm like, oh, oh, it doesn't say turn limit. So it's good times. <sighs> anyway, ladies and gentlefolk, until the very next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. Always remember, we play, we fight, we conquer.